we, we've given tax cuts, except we give them to folks who need them. We've given them to small business owners. We've given them to clean energy companies. We've cut taxes for 95% of working Americans, just like I promised you during the campaign. You all got a tax cut. And instead of giving tax breaks to companies that are shipping jobs overseas, we're cutting taxes to companies that are putting our people to work right here in the United States of America. See, we want to invest in growth industries like clean energy and manufacturing. You've got leaders here in Wisconsin, Tom Barrett, Jim Doyle. They've been fighting to bring those jobs to Milwaukee, fighting to bring those jobs here to Wisconsin. I, I don't want to see solar panels and wind turbines and electric cars made in China. I want them made right here in the United States of America. I don't want to buy stuff from someplace else. I want to grow our exports so that we're selling to someplace else. Products that say, made in the USA. money on you any day of the week. And when the naysayers said, well, you can't save the auto industry, just go ahead and let hundreds of thousands of jobs vanish, we said, we're going to stand by those workers. If, they're, if the management's willing to make tough choices, if everybody's willing to come together, I'm confident that the American auto industry can compete once again. And today, that industry is on the way back. They, they said no, we said yes to the American worker. They're coming back. Now, let me tell you, another thing we've done is to make long overdue investments in upgrading our outdated, our inefficient national infrastructure. We're talking roads, we're talking bridges, we're talking dams, levees, but we're also talking a, a smart electric grid that can bring clean energy to new areas. We're talking about broadband internet so that everybody's plugged in. We're talking about high-speed rail lines required to compete in a 21st century economy. I want to get down from Milwaukee down to Chicago quick. Avoid a traffic jam. We're talking investments in tomorrow that are creating hundreds of thousands of private sector jobs right now. Because of these investments and the tens of thousands of projects they spurred all across the country, the battered construction sector actually grew last month for the first time in a very long time. But, you know, the, the, folks, the folks here in the trades know what I'm talking about. Nearly one in five construction workers are unemployed. One in five. Nobody's been hit harder than construction workers. And a lot of those folks, they had lost their jobs in manufacturing and went into construction. Now they've lost their jobs again. It doesn't do anybody any good when so many hardworking Americans have been idled for months, even years, at a time when there's so much of America that needs rebuilding. So that's why, Milwaukee, today, I am announcing a new plan for rebuilding and modernizing America's roads and rails and runways for the long term. I want America to have the best infrastructure in the world. We used to have the best infrastructure in the world. We can have it again. We are going to make it happen.
over the next six years, over the next six years, we are going to rebuild 150,000 miles of our roads. That's enough to circle the world six times. That's a lot of rope. We're going to lay and maintain 4,000 miles of our railways, enough to stretch coast to coast. We're going to restore 150 miles of runways, and we're going to advance a next generation air traffic control system to reduce travel time and delays for American travelers. I think everybody can agree on that. Anybody want more delays at airports? No, I didn't think so. That's not a Republican or a Democratic idea. We all want to get to where we need to go. I mean, I've got Air Force One now. It's nice. But I still remember what it was like. <laughs> this, this is a plan that will be fully paid for. It will not add to the deficit over time. We're going to work with Congress to see to that. We want to set up an infrastructure bank to leverage federal dollars and, and focus on the smartest investments. We're going to continue our strategy to build a national high-speed rail network that reduces congestion and travel times and reduces harmful emissions. We, got, we want to cut waste and bureaucracy and consolidate and collapse more than 100 different programs that too often duplicate each other. So we want to change the way Washington spends your tax dollars. We want to reform a haphazard, patchwork way of doing business. We want to focus on less wasteful approaches than we've got right now. We want competition and innovation that gives us the best bang for the buck. But the bottom line is this, Milwaukee, this will not only create jobs immediately, it's also going to make our economy hum over the long haul. 